Hi, I'm Ron with Pacific Permaculture. I'm going to propagate some Moringa seeds, so check it out. So here's our Moringa seeds. I'm not sure when. Packed for 2015, so they're a couple years old. And it says somewhere on here where I should soak them for four hours in warm water. So I got my warm water here. Let's try it out. I'm not sure if part of this has got to come off or not. But anyhow, I'm going to put that one in. One. Looks like it it's broken. Two. Three, I think we got four. So I'll let these soak here until the morning, and then I'll put them in a pot and see see what happens. Try to grow a moringa tree. Anyway, that's the way it is. Now we've been soaking the moringa seeds for about I think 22 hours because. I had things I had to take care of and this is the first chance I got back to it. I believe I put them in to soak at about 8 p.m. last night, now it's 6 p.m. So let's check them out. Let's check this out. Okay, so it looks like one's floating and three are at the bottom of the water. I don't know which ones are supposed to be viable after all this, but anyhow, let's dump out our water and see where it goes. See what happens. Wow, something has a real sulfurous smell right now. I think it might be the moringa seeds. Does that mean they're rotten? Who the heck knows? Anyway, I'm gonna look into putting them in the pot. Check it out. Okay, now let's just dump these right here so it's easier to deal with. Now it said in the instructions I got with these seeds to scratch the seed coat open a little bit so they germinate more easily. I don't know if I'm going too far away. Okay, it's breaking open nicely. I'm just gonna poke in a spot to plant them and we're gonna see what happens. This is our journey here. Okay, so I've lightly scratched the seed coat. Didn't scratch so well, but anyway, I'm stuffing that in there. And let's see. Basically, we're mimicking how these seeds would go through the system of an animal and the stomach acids would eat down the seed coat to where when it's deposited in the soil or on the soil in manure those acids and everything and those nitrogen from that both break down the seed coat and then uh, you know it provides fertilizer to help the seed start so that's where where it is. I put in four seeds of Moringa. So that's the way we're starting here now. Anyway, I have these little tomato seedlings. I started about a week or so ago. This is a beet that was getting soft before I had a chance to cook it, so I put it in a plant pot. And I have some bell pepper seeds around it as an experiment to see what happens. I don't see any seedlings popping up from that. Who knows, maybe it doesn't go well together. And this one, I put some lemon cucumber seeds in. I don't see any response out of that yet. But we'll see. This is all kind of an experiment. Permaculture and horticulture, you have to experiment to see what works and when and how. Just because somebody says it can't work, doesn't mean you can't try. Maybe it'll work for you. So now that I'm back in the house, I've got my planner where I write down everything that happened. 
where I worked, all this kind of thing. And these things I also log, you know, that what I planted, what day. I don't want to show the days that I actually wrote on because there's some private information there. But as an example, I would write Moringa seeds planted today. I might even write the time. And then I'll put a big Sharpie or Sharpie mark around it to make a wide spot around it so it's easier to distinguish or some kind of a highlighter mark something that I can see it easier so when I go look back in my records I can find it more simply anyways that's one of the things I'll do